My topic is supply and demand. Actually, I am studying economics nowadays. So I would like to talk to you about supply and demand, which are the foundation of economics. You have already heard the terms of the term supply and demand in your high school way, in your high school days. So I guess that you can easily understand my words. First, demand means the desire or the desire or need of customers for goods or services which they want to buy or use. For example, on the assumption, on the assumption that Barrick's allowance is five hundred dollars and he he likes coffee and he spends all allowance to buy coffee. Actually, this coffee. Uh, the, if the coffee price is ten dollar, he can buy he can buy 50 cans. However, in this case, he can only buy 6 cans. <coughs> uh, this will be ex express this curve, demand curve. Demand curve. It, it, this is directed very demand curve. Uh, we can easily figure out the role of demand, which coffee demand increases as the price of Declines. However, there is no rule without exception. I explain briefly about two exceptions of the law of demand. At first, in the, law, in, at first, in the case of conspicuous, conspicuous consumption, we cannot see the law of demand. In this case, consumers buy more expensive goods because they like to parade their work with well, second exception is if and goods whose demand declines as the price go down. Now I'm gonna explain one more thing about demand. First, if if demand increases or decreases due to variations of price, we can call it the movement along the demand. We can call uh, this is movement along the uh, along the demand curve. However, if consumers' allowance increases or decreases, there is the shift of the demand curve. If uh, consumers' price, uh, consumers' allowance, allowance increases, there is happen, there will happen shift of the demand curve. In contrast to real demand, producers want to rise supply when the price of goods increases. When the price is, is thirty dollars and reach to uh, producers want fifty cans to sell. It means that they shall enrich fifty cans in order to seek a profit. Look at this graph. Contrary to demand curve, supply increases as the price increases. Prices increase, supply increase also. Uh, through demand curve and supply curve, we can find the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. In economics, equilibrium means reasonable for both producers and consumers. If this case, in this case, the equilibrium price is ten dollars. And equilibrium quantity is 25 cans. Supposing that the price of Nescafe is $30. Consumers want only consumers want only 60 cans. However, producers want to sell 50 cans. Therefore, excess, sub, uh, excess supply happens in this case. This is excess supply. On the other hand, if the price of uh, price of net profit go down below equilibrium price, there will be excess demand. Now, let's apply the shift of the demand curve to this graph. If consumers' allowance increase, 
if consumers allow to increase the demand curve shift of world. In this case, both equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity also increase. And uh, on the other hand, if producer can cut, uh, cut down supply, <coughs> if producer cut down supply, the supply curve shifts upwards. In this case, equilibrium price also increase, but equilibrium quantity go down. You should now understand three important facts about supply and demand. First, if the price of goods declines, then its demand increases. Second, if the price of some goods rises, then its supply decreases. Finally, through the oh, I'm sorry. If the price of some goods rises, then its supply increases. Finally, through demand and supply, we can find the equilibrium price and quantity. Someone can ask me why we sh should know. For them, I'd like to say to be wise for our daily life as a consumer or producer. That concludes my talk for today. Are there any questions?